to go over behind the scenes of what I do whenever I'm creating this course. Um, and so today I'm doing a little bit of the recording. So I just want to go through the process. So usually what I do before is I take a notebook and I write out the outline for the course. And then I write out in it, you know, what points that I actually want to cover. And whenever you're doing something like the, what I'm doing with managed care, it's a lot of information that you have that you want to share. That's why it's very important to have an outline so that you don't, as you're typing and making up the slides and you're recording, you're not adding in extra stuff. You're like, oh, I forgot to tell the, the learner this, or oh, I forgot to tell the learner that. You, you, that's why it's very important to have the outline. Okay, so once I have it outlined, I then go in and I do a, um, a first draft of the PowerPoint. So I pull up PowerPoint and I do a draft of it and then I save it. And then after that, I go and I put my speaker notes in. Uh, I originally, whenever I started, I thought, oh, I can just read from the slides because I'm an expert at this. I know what I'm doing. But as you get ready to record and you're looking at the slide deck, you'd be like, oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You start adding in things that don't need to be there. You don't know how to transition from one sentence to the next. So then I go in now and I put speaker notes at the bottom. PowerPoint is where I do the bulk of all of my recording and we'll show you that uh, because you can record per slide. So if I get if I've got 22 slides and the first 10 were great and then I get slide number 11 and I mess up, guess what? I don't have to then uh, start all the way over. You can just clear the recording from that one particular slide, re-record and keep going. Okay, so we will go over that and so you can see what that looks like. So today what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a bunch of recording because uh, I'm trying to finish out the course and so yesterday and the day before I did I, I consolidated what am I missing from the course what have I not published yet and I put that in monday.com which I'll show you that as well so that keeps me on track and then from there it's what do I do to knock these out in chunks so yesterday I had a bunch of them that were already the powerpoints were already in draft staff Status. So I went yesterday, I made the final PowerPoint edits, I added in my speaker notes, and I did the question and answer banks. I took all of that, put it in a PDF, loaded it to Teachable, so those resources are already there. And then today, I'm going in and I'm recording the actual um, instructions and everything for the videos, and then exporting them, adding them to Teachable, and then I'll hit publish. Okay, so it's a lot that goes into creating the course, but once you get the rhythm down, um, it's you, you're pretty good to go. And I may have to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with this camera or if I'm going to have to do some type of screen share, but let's see what we can get. And this is timed out on me. So you can see my setup. Um, I have a the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, I've got the Elgato camera. Um, I have a ring light in the back. Um, and so those are pretty much all I've got as far as my setup is concerned. Uh, and I think everything looks professional. It sounds professional. And I think it also helps whenever you've got like a talking person in the actual video versus just trying to have a robot or another voice just overlay on top of whatever the slides are. So let me see if I can. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start recording another one of these so you can actually see how that works. All right, so I've got my uh, Yeti microphone right here, and then I've got the Elgato camera that I was telling you about. I've got the ring light, um, and so we're going to go ahead and just pull up our PowerPoint. And so the one I'm getting ready to record is the IRA M3P or the Medicare Prescription Payment Plan. And then I'll do a screen share so that you can see this other part. But this right here is just going to show you me actually doing the recording. All right, so let's get started. This is going to be the hardest provision for plans to operationalize, in my opinion, okay? And that's going to be the Medicare Prescription Payment Plan, known as the M3P provision of the IRA. As we go through these modules that go into specifics, always be thinking of how... Oh, wait. Okay, so this is an example of where I've got the wrong speaker notes on this particular slide. So I need to go back. And update that. Okay. 
Okay, and so now I've put out the um, speaker notes, and now because I've got this right here, might not be able to see it, but I've got the, um, the, the slide on here or the recording. I don't want it here, so I'm just going to go to clear recording on current slide. So therefore, it keeps the very first slide that I had and done it correctly. Okay, so let's let's move on. Once we are done with this module, you should have a very good overview of M3P, understand the M3P process, be familiar with the member communications related to M3P, and understand high level how the calculations are done. The Medicare prescription payment plan will allow members to make monthly payments to the plan versus at the pharmacy counter. The max out of pocket for 2024 is $2,000. Members who are likely to benefit, and this is a term that you will see throughout all of the guidance, are those that are on high-cost medication therapy. Okay, so as you can see, that's how it looks. That's what I do whenever I'm recording all of this stuff out. I am doing it literally, y'all, in the office that is in my house. Um, so all of you who are nervous about, oh, should I do a course? Do I need this fancy studio? Do I need this? Do I need that? Whatever. Just go ahead and get started. Um, and then, as you can see, I didn't necessarily have to use the Elgato camera. I could have used uh, the webcam that came with my computer. Uh, but um, we had the funds to be able to afford nicer things, so I bought the camera, okay? Um, same thing with the microphone, which wasn't that expensive. I think I only paid like 110 bucks or 100 bucks for this uh, Blue Yeti microphone, which I absolutely love. Um, so you don't need a whole lot to get out there and get it going and getting it started. So I'll do another video that shows the, um, actually the my screen share because I didn't think that came through too great. I'm um, just trying to record it here. So that's that for now. Um, hope this is encouraging to somebody to see how to you can actually do your course um, and get it recorded, get it uploaded, and start making some money from it. Okay, so what I want to do um, real quick here is I want to show you more information about how I actually do this course. And so what I'm going to do is share my screen and walk you through it. Okay, so um, this right here is one of the um, modules, and it's around CMS audits, and this is the intro section. So I told you earlier that one of the first things I do is I write it all out on paper, and then I do a draft of it in PowerPoint, um, and that's probably just on one day. I try not to do the draft, the writing, everything on the same day. So I may do a bulk of doing a bunch of the writings, then the next day putting them into PowerPoints, and then I go back and I review through them, look for any final PowerPoint edits, um, and then also put in the speaker notes. And so that's what you see down here is the actual speaker notes. And we'll sh I'll show you how that comes into play. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do, and this is the cool thing about PowerPoint that I did not know until I started doing this course, is that you can go up here to this button that says record. And whenever you record, this cameo is just where your picture is. So you can put this slide. And what you're going to see is a... Um, a, a camera what it looks like and then you can take this and you can move it around what I usually do is leave it in the same spot for now um, and then because you can move it after you actually finish the recording okay and so then when you go back to record it's got from beginning from current slide and then you're going to export it so if you do from beginning and I wonder if this is going to let me do this since I am recording already but let's see what happens Okay, let's go over the many audits that plan sponsors face with CMS. So I'm basically just reading what's up here in the speaker notes. And then you click down here and you move to the next one. At the end of this module, you'll be familiar with the different types of audits. And then I'll just read all of this and then you finish. If you get stuck or you got to scratch your face or whatever, you can click the pause button and to pause the recording. And when you're done, you just hit this button to stop it. And then you go back to edit. And then when you go back to edit, what you see is you can go back and you can replay it. 
All right, and my face is frozen because the it was using the same camera that I'm using to to do this to film this video. So, anyways, you can take this then and you can move it around. So sometimes my uh, cameo will be over some words depending on where the slide is. So then you can move it. You can make it smaller. Um, if you do not want yourself in the cameo, you do not have to. It'll just come up with a little bubble that shows just the uh, you talking, the, just the voice. Um, so you don't always have to have your video on. All right. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what that looks like. So if we come in here and we do record from current slide, we turn our camera off and then we'll hit record. It counts you down three, two, and one. We're going to cover multiple different audits. And then we'll go back and go back to edit. And now you see this symbol over here and you can hit play. OK, and then if you don't like something, say you like, you know what? I got all the way through these slides. I really don't like the way I sound or I said something wrong on slide two. All you have to do is go up here to clear recording. You can clear recording on current slide or all slides. Be careful with the all slides one, especially if you've are if you're satisfied with all of them. Um, you go and clear the recording on the current slide. And when you do that, you can go back in and you can record from this particular slide only. And then once it's all finished, you just go to export to video and then you browse where you want to put it and then you click export video and it will export it for you. While it's exporting, you can click exit. And as you can see down here, I've got one already that's being ex exported, which is the marketing guidelines underscore agent final dot MP4. Uh, so it'll show down here in this taskbar. All right, next thing is going to be um, how I keep track of what I am doing. And I use something called monday.com. And so what you're gonna see in monday.com is, um, it's like a project management tool. And so this right here had all of my courses. So this was the premium layout. This was the core layout. And so I've done the bulk of these. So what I did was to figure out what I have left, I added a course, um, Becoming a Medicare Agent, and then this is what I had left outstanding from my premium package. So what you do is you, you go in and you give everything a title. So you can add a task, or if I wanted to just duplicate this, I can go in and then change this. And when you go here, it has all of the sub items to go with it. And then you can click and change them off to whatever you want, okay? And if you don't want it, you just delete it. So the way I have mine set up is we're doing the IRA M3P. So I have already written out the course. I've done the PowerPoint slides. I've done the question and answer bank. I've finished the final PowerPoint edits. I've completed the speaker notes. I've recorded it. So now I'm just waiting for it to actually load. Um, so once it finishes loading, and then I'll be able to come back and put post. I'll change this to done, and I'll change this to done. So let's see if it's actually posted. So here is the teachable back end. So this is where um, I just loaded the IRA M3P. Here is the uh, PDF document. So I, I like to take the PDF of the slides and include it for the learner. Here is the video uh, that I exported out of PowerPoint and put here. You could do a thumbnail. I don't usually do those. Um, and then once that's all finished, you just click publish. And so now it's published and I would then go to monday.com. Here's IRA M3P. It successfully posted. I will change this to done. And I'll also change this to done. So now I know I haven't started these. I haven't started the calculations video or this oversight video. I also know that I have another one that I need to do it was under marketing guidelines, which is up here. So I just recorded the marketing guidelines video, but what I do need to do 
is duplicate this one because there's one video that I need to do and it's the uh, screen share of MMG of the guidelines. Um, and so when I go here and look at what I got, I don't need this, 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 and this. So you can highlight those and click delete because all I need to do is um, do a screen share like I'm doing currently and then record it and then post it. And then we'll change this to not start it. And change this to not start it. And we can close it up and then we'll see what we got. So that is how I keep track of the project in monday.com. The other piece is Teachable. I do use the Teachable platform, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we can go in and we can look at the course. So here's what it looks like. Um, and you, here's the curriculum. Um, and so I have my welcome. And then here's Managed Care 101. Here's all of the classes itself. You can always do new lesson. Um, and that's how you add a lesson to it. Um, you can go and do bulk upload. I think you have to be in a certain package for that. Or I can't remember, but I don't use bulk upload. Uh, here's Medicare 101. And then here I've got a time slot or I have a slot for this one, but I don't have anything in it. So that's why it says empty and you don't have to publish it until you're ready. Um, and so this is just how it looks. And over here, it gives you all the stuff you need, like who are your students, what their reports are, do you have coupons, how do you, where you put your pricing in for the sales pages, all of that good information. But in order to just post something on here, let's see if this PowerPoint finished. It's not finished yet. So all you would have to do is if I was getting ready to post, I think it's this one, you would go to add content. And then once you add content, this is all the things that you can add. So text, image, video, PDF viewer. So if I'm adding the actual PDF document, I would go to PDF viewer and add it. If I'm adding the video, I'll go to, to video and drag and drop the video. So here you just drag and drop it or you just find out where it is. And it's fairly simple from there. And then you can preview it. So you can see what your curriculum looks like. And so this is what it looks like you as the admin. And usually as the admin, it's going to post things um, here that are not necessarily published yet. But you can select. You can select uh, preview as student. And this will show you what an actual student that's enrolled in um, can see. And then if you want to see what was public, and this is because, well, I don't have a public one. Um, I do have one that's published for the public, just in case you want to have just one course uh, where people can actually see that's where that would be. And that is how I did my course. That is how I use monday.com for project management. I use Teachable as the platform, and then I use PowerPoint to do all of my um, PowerPoints as well, and slides, PDF documents, as well as the recording. And if I have to, which I'm gonna have to do later on tonight, if I have to actually do a screen share of like a website or something that is not in PowerPoint, I use um, Zoom or either Teams like I'm using right now to do this screen share and record it, edit it, and then upload it onto the video. So uh, hopefully you find this helpful if you are actually trying to create a course of your own. This is beginning to end of how you actually create it.